Hey guys, Stealth Jacob here, and welcome back to the Direwolf 20 1.12 mod pack. Today is going to be a, a, an interesting episode. Basically, I'm going to be doing a lot of different things. It's just a bunch of small tasks that will make our gameplay a little bit better. So, the things I have planned is we're going to make a new weapon from Tinker's Construct. I mean, not new in total, just like something we don't have. We're also going to make our system of getting up and down our house over there, which is sort of completed now. I actually added some details to it and stuff, so it looks a little bit nicer. And we're also going to make a machine, basically one of these types of blocks, like a machine that can do something useful for us. That machine will help us make better um, flux ducts, which will help us uh, move power around easier. So yeah, we have a lot of things to do, but I'm going to start off with the tool that we want to make. And the tool is going to be the... where is it? Um, uh, wait, I can't find it. <laughs> Repair, da, 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 shovel, hatchet, matic, can't, what the heck is that? I don't even know. Um, oh yeah, we're going to make the cleaver today, which is a weapon. Um... It basically, it hits really hard, but it's slow to move, but that's kind of fine, I don't really care. So yeah, we need to get the parts, we need a, a lot of parts actually, so, um, what do we not have I guess? We need, <coughs> we need a large blade pattern, which I think is this one, large sword blade, we'll stick that in the pattern chest. Um, we also need, so we have that, is that two tough tool rods? I think so. Um, we can just look at it in here actually. If we look at cleaver, tough tool rod, alright, two tough tool rods in that, okay, that's easy enough. Alright, so the sword blade, I've decided already off camera, is going to be made out of manilium because that material does a lot of damage and it's pretty good. How many materials do we need? We need eight. So that's quite a lot. We need to grab some stone and probably some clay actually. Do we still have clay? Um, I don't know. We might be low on clay. That might not be good. Um, we'll grab a stack of cobblestone though. <coughs> Yeah, do I have any more clay? I'm not entirely sure. We need this though. We need the cobalt. And we have Ardite on us already. Um, yeah, where's the clay? It wouldn't be in there. I think it's in this chest? Nope. Alright, I'm gonna go mine a bit of clay. There's some watery areas here yet. Yeah, there probably is clay in them. We don't need a ton of clay, just a little bit, so it's not going to be too bad to do. Uh, where have I not been for water? Uh, this area doesn't have any clay, so that's kind of pointless. Did this one? This one does not either. Hmm. There's plenty of watery ponds over here though, so hopefully one of them has clay yet. I think. Oh, here we go. There we go. That right there should be enough clay. How much did we get from that? We're at over a stack. <laughs> Alright. We're good on clay now. That worked out. Excavator is OP. <coughs> Cool. So we have the clay that we need. We have the ores for a manilium that we need as well. I'm not really sure what else to make the tool out of. I'm not too sure. I was thinking cobalt possibly just because it gives a speed increase I guess. I'm not really too sure on that though. We have to make a part out of wood so it can regenerate itself. Probably the handle. Oh, I still have glass in here. Alright. I'm just going to throw eight in there because yeah, we might need eight. So we need that. 
We need to make a stone version of this, so we need eight cobblestone to make this thing. And we'll pour clay on it. Also, so we need eight manilium. I think that's going to take all of our ardite and stuff, so it's kind of expensive. But it's okay. We can actually take out some more glass. I was making it for the house, and yeah, I filled all the windows in. And added stairs to like the corners and stuff to add detail. We'll look at that later. But yeah, I did some work on it. Fun. Alright, so we have that actually. We can also make the stone plate that we need. Which needs eight as well. So do that. So we have those two things. We have the clay now, molten clay. Put down the bottom and pour it on this thing. And then I'm going to start cooking up. I don't remember if I need how much of this I need. I, I think I need all of it, so I might be gone with Ardite. Which, I mean, it kind of sucks, but we have... We can use Cobalt for the rest. We don't really need more Ardite, I don't think. Um... We look at the materials and look at like what they give us for bonuses. I'm not. I think bone was interesting. It gives. It adds deal damage. Your tool's damage is increased. That might not be a terrible thing to put like as a handle or some other part. I think a wood. The handle would look cool as it. Um. So bone is an option. I think we might do. Um, cobalt would be probably the tool rod. Um, it would increase the speed if it's one of those secondary parts, so that's not too bad. So maybe if we do a cobalt, bone, manilium, and wood thing, that might work, I think, those materials. That doesn't sound too bad to me. Ooh, we're only at four ingots. Okay. I might need to go get some more... Do I have more Ardite? I thought I might have, but I don't know. Uh, Ardite. Oh, there it is. I have plenty of Ardite. I thought I had some. I didn't know where it was. Okay. We have plenty. So... I'm gonna stick... Another one in here. Will that be enough? We did four with... Okay, yeah, that should be enough, because that'll make eight, right? So that will be enough, I hope. I need the get more lava in here. We're running pretty low. I'm just going to dump that. And yeah, we don't really need the magma generator anymore, so we can all use lava for just tinker stuff, which is pretty nice. Oh, can't fit more lava in. That's fine. We also have blood in there. I don't know how it got there, but yeah. There's blood. I did not realize I had that much Ardite. I guess Cobalt is what I need more of. Um, how much does it take? We need to make a tool. What are we going to make it out of what? Um, yeah, that's a good thing. We need to figure out what we want to make out of what. So that, so the head would ca count as me momentum. Hmm. All right. So if we look at bone, wherever bone is, what does the bone thing give us? If we have it here, it'll give us hurt. Your da your tool's damage is increased. Okay. I, does it have a chance to do it, or how does I don't know how it works, but I think we can make a cobalt handle so we can we don't have to waste eight cobalt on that one part. It won't be as bad because we don't have a ton of cobalt, but we do have more bones. I think I should actually actually check. We have eight bones right there. I think that's enough. 
Wait, can you do this? Can you just do this? Uh, I'm gonna do that. I think that's what we need, right? Alright, so do we have enough manilium? We have eight, so I'm gonna pour it. It's on the bottom. And now we just need some tool rods. Were they tough rods? I believe they were. If we check. Yeah, two tough tool rods. Okay. Tough tool rod. We need a wooden one. And we also need to make one out of stone here. It's only three materials, so that's fine. So yeah, we need this to make the cobalt version, which we'll use. <coughs> Alright, it's almost cooled off. Alright, we have this. It does eight, over eight damage. Alright, clay is on the bottom. We'll pour it on the handle. And how much cobalt do we need? Just, is it through, wait. I think we only need two because it takes three materials, so that's all we need. And then, yeah, we need to grab a bit of wood to make the wooden tough tool rod as well. So, there. Alright. We can build most of this thing. We have that. We have this. The bone here. And all we're missing is that. I'm not sure, does the bone do good for that or not? I'm not really sure. But yeah, we're almost done with the cobalt. And then we'll work on the next project, which will be moving around in the house. Um, staircases are kind of hard to build in there because of the size of the rooms. So I have a different plan, actually. And I will show you that right now. It is the elevators. Because there's elevators in here. They're very simple to make, you just wool and uh, ender pearl. I only have two ender pearls though, so we can only do it like one floor. Alright, cool, we have four ingots. We'll pour it onto the tool rod. <coughs> we shall do that. And that this should complete the our new weapon at least, I think. I wonder how much damage it'll do, because it's kinda weird. It may not do the most damage that it should. Splintering hit. Hmm. I mean, that's not bad. So what does it do? Ecological. It regenerates health. Um, it deals more damage, but uses durability. I don't really care about that too much. Splintering hit hit them more to deal more damage. That's kind of not great. Lightweight makes it faster. And adds 10 percent chance to get heads. Is there a um, plate that we can make? Is there what's like a better plate that gives us a bonus? Um, is there anything that maybe there's like a better option? Because like I thought I was trying to get the other thing. So I guess we're looking for obsidian would just do what? Increased durability it looks like. Alright. Yeah. Um every point durability lost increased damage. That's not terrible, but we don't have Prismarine really. Um modifiers you don't really need any because there's not much to put on here. I mean Uh, iron wouldn't be bad, so we attract items, possibly? I don't know what that means. Um, flint wouldn't be bad. Extra damage against unarmed. I'm thinking either flint or paper. Um, how many modifiers would we have on this thing? 
we have three modifiers, which isn't too bad. We can add... I was planning on adding, like, beheading a lot. I thought that would be really fun to do. Yeah, it only adds splinter, though. I wanted fractured, but that's fine. Do that. Cheapskate, nah. I think we'll do... We'll do paper, I think. We'll see how good or bad paper is, actually. So we need to make... How do you do paper again? You have to do... Don't you have to make, like, paper into something like this? No. Um... Yeah, don't you have to, like, use paper to do something? I forget. Maybe, oh wait, the book will probably tell us. Materials, paper. Okay, you just use paper. Alright, we'll try it. I need more paper. Whoops. I'm just going to make a bit... Alright, we have 18 paper. I'm just curious to see like what this does. Oh, we need more paper. We need a lot of paper, huh? Alright, that should be enough. 45. Paper. I am curious to see what happens from this, though. Alright, go to that. And the paper one. It does 11 damage compared to the 13. What was the durability? Thir 1,670. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to do this. I'm going to deal with it. We'll do the stealthy, stealthy cleaver, I guess. Sure. And also has beheading, which is cool. And one of my plans was to actually increase that, so we basically have a higher chance. Alright, it's not too slow, I don't think. It's cool, though. Alright, so we did that. Now I'm going to work on the elevator blocks. This shouldn't take too long. Now we have a bunch of extra tool parts that we don't need. That's fine. So we need wool. I'm going to use white wool because it, it looks... It sort of matches the ground, I think, and I didn't want to use, like, a different color. How does this work? Oh. Alright. Do I have a lot of that stuff? Hmm, not as much as I thought. Okay. We'll do that though. Nine. Uh, we can make a few wool blocks. I have sheep over there, but um, they don't produce white wool, which I mean, I could change that. Could I could make them one of the sheep white or something. Um. But I should... Do I have enough string? I, I might not. Hmm. We only have six wool. That's not too good. Uh, we can make another. Um, is there a recipe for a string? That's really easy. Uh, that... Pulverizer, no. Nope, I just need to get more. Can you die? Uh, do we have a sh We need to make a shears, actually. I'm gonna do that. So many new tools. Alright. 
I'm gonna go shear the sheep. Can you die of the wool? I think you can, right? <laughs> Alright, we have a lot of wool from that. You can die of wool, right? Or no. I think you can. Oh, dang it, we cannot. All right, I'm gonna dye the sheep white then, I think. That's one, um, yeah, white wool is just better. Oh no. No, 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 oh. I made a mistake. Uh, where's my lasso? Where did the golden lasso go? Where did it go? Hmm. I don't know. I know I have it, I think. Right? Do I still have the golden lasso? I don't see why. We'll just make a new one, I guess. All right, it was string in that. All right, we have enough string. We just need gold nuggets. Because sheep are dumb and they walked out. All right. We'll fix this. Put them back in the pen. Right? Mm. We need the, I guess, kill some spiders. I see a couple around. Oh, that's a spider jockey. That's scary. Oh wait, what am I doing? I have this thing. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna clear out my inventory a little bit because it's a kind of full of stuff. All right, that's better. So yeah. I need to kill some spiders though. Whoa. We broke it. Look at that. That's funny. Alright, we need more spiders. Ow. Oh no, 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 run! I'm gonna go into the house, or right here. Alright, I'm missing, that's not good. I'm doing quite bad against these mobs. Mainly skeletons. Um... But yeah, we need to make these blocks if we can. I'm actually just going to sleep though. So it's daytime and the spiders will stay, right? Spiders and creepers, well, unfortunately. I don't like creepers. Uh, we can get a little bit more string. But get back in the pen. Alright, I'm not going to color these white. Right. <sighs> All right. Yeah, this is fun. Here we go. All right. Yeah, creepers are fun and stuff. All right. Do that. Do this a little bit. I need more than that. We'll make the rest of these planks. We'll do this. I'm not even doing everything I wanted to. <laughs> oh well. Alright. 
have to fix this up. Alright, that's patched up. We just need to fill in this. So I need more dirt. Yeah, I, I hate creepers. If you don't know, they're just dumb. And I don't like them. Also, all the cows escape, but we need more dirt. <laughs> this episode's gonna go longer just because I want to do all this stuff. So, we'll make it longer. That's fine. I'm okay with it. <laughs> all this trouble is happening. Do I have any more bones? I do now. Okay, cool. Uh, we can dye this sheep here. We can put you in the pen. In the pen. Cows, you get back in there. Alright, we fixed everything except for the torches. We can put them in the back. Grab the sheep, though. Um, we'll shear them. That should give us a lot of wool. Alright, away from the door. There. Alright, we have 13 wool. That's better, but not enough. So we can make one elevator. Uh, Ender pearls. Where are they? There they are. I have two of them. So we kind of make two blocks. But yeah, we'll make these white because it just sort of matches the floor, I think. <coughs> Alright, so we got the first one. Um, I'm going to place it. Should I do it in the middle here? Like make a four block of them? Mm, probably not. I'm going to do these two blocks right here so yeah they're not too different and up here we'll break the ceiling right above we'll make it two blocks so we'll have four total actually no we'll have more because we also need to make a set for the ceiling but we can do that later so yeah we're just gonna make it so we can we can go up and down right now between the two floors that we use and when we get more ender pearls and stuff, we can do it more. There you go. I'm going to now work on the machine I was going to build. So we want to build. We want to build some advanced flux, du flux ducts. <clears throat> and to do that, we need a fluid transposer. So how do we build that? A fluid transposer is not too bad. We need a machine frame. That was tin. Alright, my inventory is a mess right now. Alright, I'm just gonna dump a bunch of stuff. Don't need that. Okay, that looks better. We have the bucket. We can use. We needed glass. We need um, tin, we need a bit of iron, we need copper, I need to get more copper, that's something I've noticed. Oh, there's a wool there, we can almost make that second one. Alright, make the two gears that we need for that. We need gold and two redstone. redstone, we need a gold. And I'm just going to build this machine so that we have the ability to um, make to make those pipes because those are just a better for transporting power. They give more power. Right, we need a tin gear. I think we can make everything now. We have that. And boom! Fluid transposer. I believe we also need, so, okay, we actually would need a magma crucible as well. 
How difficult is that? <coughs> Not too difficult. I think we can make that right now. I'm okay with going over on time. But yeah, we're out of copper now. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> it's really weird. Copper's been like kind of rare. It's kind of strange. Oh well. Yeah, we have one copper left. Uh, do I have any... I need another rack, right? Yeah, I'm gonna smelt a stack of that. Oh. That gives us another brick. So, that's how we do that. We need... Tin gear. Tin gear. We have that. We have those. So we need... Ooh, Electrum. I have that. I think. Right there. Yep, I made extra. So we have those. We need some redstone, which there's two there. There we go. So I believe it goes like this way for the gold, and then the opposite way with electrum. Now I'm missing is the machine frame and the nether rack. Machine frame is now done. And nether brick. That should be enough. Two bricks. There we go. And nice, we have a magma crucible. So now we can melt things like redstone, and then we can use the fluid transposer to put that into things. I believe that's the, so you need both technically to do stuff, because you melt, yeah, and here you melt ores like redstone. So if we were to look at the, uh, the flux duct that we want, we need the tr fluid transpose redstone, but to get that, you need to use the magma crucible and smelt redstone basically so yeah that works we can like use these to connect them together so it automatically fills it which is nice but yeah we should now have enough wool also all right cool we can make the other elevator block so we have that done Let's do it. All right, do this. There we go, we got the white one. I was thinking also when I do the upper floor, since the ground is um, stone brick, I would probably make the elevator gray just so it sort of matches. I think that'd be good. But yeah, if we place this here, if we jump and shift, we can transport. Sweet, I love it. <clears throat> But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of the Direwolf 21.12 mod pack. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. See ya!